right, good morning guys. So, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and start our clock. Um, we got another load and it says it's supposed to pick up at 7 p.m. tonight, but it's two o'clock. So, I might just start my clock right now. Um, we're going to North Carolina, but we gotta get the load here in Kansas. Oh my God. I don't know if the brakes are frozen or what, I doubt it, but. I'm just gonna try to pull up off this dock here. can't be frozen dude it's 60 degrees out there we go they're starting to free up a little bit all right so we need to go slide our tandems forward I'm pretty sure the truck's gonna shut off while I do this crap but you know it is what it is and we need to close the doors we slept in a long time though because I I knew that, oh boy. Okay, good. I knew that, like as soon as I saw that next load, like we got unloaded at like 7 a.m. or something like that. This other door was a pain this morning to open. I think part of it was frozen. Let's tie these up real quick. And then the place I'm headed is about 70 miles north. I've been there before. Um, but I think I'm gonna stop in this little town just down the road because they have a Casey's with truck parking and I'm gonna get some Casey's pizza because it's not Thanksgiving yet but my Thanksgiving's tomorrow and I'm probably gonna be eating truck stop food so I might as well just have some Casey's pizza today all the way to the front. Well, I think we have to pull up a little bit. Oh my gosh. I was like, why is it not pulling these brakes? There we go. Just want to make sure we're off of it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get out and go. I don't know if it's trying to regen right now or what, but it, every time I set the brake, it just gets super loud. Is it locked in? Yep. Okay, cool. So we're going to head out here. Hopefully we got enough room to swing around. All right, guys, we made it to this Casey's. I think I might order me a whole pizza just because I can throw it in the fridge and eat it tomorrow and stuff. Yeah, I'm also on a diet and Casey's Pizza is super healthy. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. That's what they were doing the last time I was here. I was wondering what they were doing, but they took the curb out that made it really hard to turn in here. Oh, well, not really hard, but made it harder to turn in here than it needed to be. Last time I kind of like made like a U-turn here, but I think I'm just gonna use one of these over here.
put in that box real quick. That, that light light pulls back there though hopefully I don't nick it I think we got to stop there guys but I'm gonna go in and get some pizza I'll catch you guys here in a couple minutes all right guys so I'm taking a look here and it looks like it's 1200 miles total and today's Wednesday obviously tomorrow's Thanksgiving um, which I'll be driving on Thanksgiving but I think that I'm going to stop uh, in Kansas City. Um, I'll just uh, drive what I can or to the yard today, park there, you know, um, park at the yard. Just see my, I mean, I just came off home time, but just see my family for a little bit um, and just shut down at the Kansas City yard. Wake up tomorrow, drive 600 miles, and uh, drive 600 miles on Friday because it's obviously I won't be able to deliver it on Thanksgiving. So, um, mile, yeah, so we need to turn left out of here north. and hang left and then uh, get back on that. It's not, an, it's, I don't know what they call them, it's not an interstate, but yeah, and uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I know it's it's so weird because like I talk about this but you guys won't be seeing this till Friday so like I'll already when you guys see this I'll pretty much have this load just delivered so uh, tomorrow's video will just be a lot of like OTR driving you know since we're headed to North Carolina from Kansas um, but I think I'm gonna run home tonight and probably take a shower at home honestly that's always so nice to do uh, you know so you ain't gotta wear the shower sandals at home, you know? And that's just something that, like I've gotten used to shower sandals, but uh, you know, hopefully they can uh, give me the load early. I'm gonna be there at six, and it says it's not supposed to be ready till seven, but normally when it shows the trailer number you're gonna be picking up, it's normally ready already. So, at least for tractor supply loads, but I figure if they know what trailer it's on, then it's probably ready, right? Like, we're not gonna, no, I mean, it could be getting loaded right now, but I'm just sitting here waiting anyway, so I might as well just go here. And I already started my clock, so I'm just wasting time sitting at this Casey's and not trying to get there early. Although there's nowhere to park there. Unless, I mean, I could I could go park and drop my empty there, I guess, and then find like a little bit of parking like I did that one night that my headlights wouldn't turn on. So, uh, yeah, it's so nice being empty too. I think, I think coming out of here, the loads are normally pretty light. I can't remember though. But I hate that place I'm going to in North Carolina. That place is a pain in the rear to back into. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but that was the place where it was so busy and I just had to drop the trailer um, in a spot. Like I didn't even back it into a spot. I just parked it like in front of the trailers because they had all those other trailers balking and it was just like all blindside. So I'm not looking forward to getting to that place, but you know, it is what it is. And then I have to, I have, oh, I need to get to Joplin so I can get some chains and stuff. See if I sent a message out today, which is awesome. Um, you know, if you're out here on the road for Thanksgiving, they'll reimburse you uh, a meal, uh, which is awesome. But I don't have any reimbursement forms. And I tried telling Tim that and he's like, you got to wait your eight days to get into Joplin. So from North Carolina, they're pretty much going to have to get me right back to Joplin, which means which is a good thing, because then I won't be stuck on the East Coast, you know, driving through New Jersey and stuff. So yeah, but anyways, we're gonna continue on and see you guys here in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stop up here. Um, I'm pretty sure these uh, rest areas have like a little gas station in them. Um, at least I think they do. Some do, like I know Iowa doesn't, but this is vending machines. I need water, I thought, I thought this one had um, like a little gas station at it. Well, let's see if I can still get water here or not. 
hopefully the vending machines work. My engine brake's not on, that's why it's not slowing down. All right, I'm just gonna park behind this guy. I hope these vending machines take card because I do not have cash. I don't think they do. Dang it. I really wanted some water. All right, well, we're gonna get back on the interstate. It doesn't look like they have a card reader. It says you're supposed to be able to park 10 semis here. I do not see how you park 10 semis here. I like being empty though. It's so easy to catch up to speed. Um, I feel like we're already doing 40 again. That sucks. I'll just have to wait till Kansas City to get some water. Cause there's like no truck stops along this stretch of interstate. So yeah. Um, we got another half an hour until we make it to the place we're picking up our preloaded trailer. And then we have a drop and hook in North Carolina on Friday. The, the drop off window is like Friday to Monday, but I would rather just drop it off on Friday. Um, that way I can get more miles in. Now, I, I think I've told you guys this before, but this is my favorite place to pick up from. No, that was sarcasm. I don't, I don't hate this place. This place isn't bad. I just, I dislike it because of the fact that the one time I came here, I had truck problems and I had to stay the night here when I wanted to drive. One half mile, arrive at 32 so South US we got a, we got to turn right. right up here and then, oh, okay, it's 40 now. And then there's an entrance with a guard shack and the guard shack kind of sucks because they like, they ask you all these questions and stuff and I can't remember, I feel, nah, this, I don't think this place makes you slide your tandems back, which is nice. Um, but it's right here on the right. I had to, uh, hey Garmin, cancel navigation. Okay, canceled. I don't know, I have like a love-hate relationship with this place. I'm pretty sure this is where I found, I think I said it last time I was here, but I'm pretty sure this is where I found out that I'd been cheated on, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I can't remember if this is actually it or not. I feel like it is, but at the same time, I feel like it isn't. So, but we parked over here last time and we had to order DoorDash because we hadn't eaten all day and I was starving. So we gotta go through this gate here. Hopefully there's actually spots to drop this trailer in. And there may not be because of the uh, holiday, dude. They might not have loaded trailers for a little bit. I don't know. Hopefully, they should be open though. They, f they finally have a vending machine outside of here? Wow. I think that's because I was like, damn dude, I haven't ate anything all day. And it looks like they put a vending machine right up front. I mean, it's just soda, but still, it's nice. I said something and it got done. Maybe one of the employees is like, oh, we can make money if we do this. Oh, I hate this area. I do hate this area. Let me try on these backlights. Yeah, if I had my tandems back, I don't think I'm making that. All right, we gotta go in. All right, guys, we got told D11 is our spot number. It's gonna be a little bit easier to set up than the last one. The last time we had to do like a flip around, but it's gonna be on our sight side, so we'll be pretty good here. Look how bright these headlights are though. They're so nice. I think it's gonna be right next to that other CFI down there. Hey, at least my headlights are working this time for sure. Last time they didn't work. And it wasn't this dark when I got here last time, but. I'm gonna try to set up a 45. Everyone always says, do a 45, it'd be a lot easier. So we're gonna try to do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're marked on the back fence wall. The CFI is sticking out really far though. Like 
super far. All right, there it is, D11. So I think you come up to here, and then you cut it hard, right? Which I don't really have all the room here to do this. We're gonna do a get out and look though. Because I've never really done a 45 before and I need to get a better habit of doing get out and looks. So I'll just turn on these hazards. It's honestly not a bad setup. I'm gonna have to give it just a little bit of right. Not. Nah, I probably could just drive straight. I think it will carry over. And then I'll have to swing it in at the last second. But honestly, I don't think it's too bad. We got plenty of room over there. So we'll just watch it as we bring it in. Alright, here we go. Put that seat belt back on. Roll the window all the way down. Put it in reverse. Go ahead and give it just a little bit of right here. Sort of straightening it a little bit. More straighten. Might be getting a little too close to it. too close dang it i shouldn't give it that extra right i should have just let it travel like i said so we're too close so we give it some left here and then we go straight then we just give it half a turn left here and that will carry it over away from that other trailer and go and give it more left really close to that trailer I think look good just gotta let it travel a little bit here and then we can go ahead and give it some more right because that will pull us away from it Straighten it out. That card left. We gave it just a little bit too much there. So we're gonna pull up straight and then pull up to the right and back left. This will fix it in there. We got plenty of room here, so it's really nice. I'm just going to straighten it here. Yeah, look how much room I left on that backside, dude. <laughs> we can, we'll scooch it over a little bit to that backside. I only moved it just a little bit, but it's okay. landing gear should be right on top of that spot that we need to drop the landing gear the different colored concrete yep perfect right in the middle all right so like i said you want to lower your landing gear so you twist it away from your tractor empty so we don't have to deflate our airbags because there's no load. <laughs> 
so we can just drop it. Bam, look at that. Oh, we gotta test out our new light. I forgot I got a light boss home. I'm gonna drive over to the other trailer. So we are uh, loaded and we are rolling. We got, we picked it up. Uh, I just figured I might as well just pick it up and get going. So uh, we got 142 miles to Kansas City. That equates to be about two hours and you know 15 minutes. Um, and that's to the Kansas City yard. And I'm gonna stop there and uh, just uh, kick back and relax. And then uh, hopefully we can still make it uh, to our uh, destination in North Carolina by Friday. I think we should. I don't know what the hours are of the building, but they have it estimated that I get there at um, five in the afternoon. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I'm gonna make this right here. Luckily, there's like no traffic turning into here. Sorry for that annoying ringtone. It's just getting a phone call. So hopefully they don't call right away, but we are headed to Kansas City. Finally made it to the Kansas City yard. I'm honestly super impressed with these 2023 trucks. Um, I average eight and a half miles per gallon, which is pretty dang good. I don't know the exact weight, but I want to say I'm probably weighing about 50,000 pounds right now. Um, so maybe even a little bit more, maybe 55,000 pounds total. And so to average eight and a half miles per gallon, that's pretty good. But uh, we made it here to the Kansas City yard, so we're gonna get parked real quick. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably get a pull through over here, to be honest. I was gonna back in, but I might as well just take a pull through if I can get one, right? What the heck's that noise? I hate driving the truck through this though because um, the bottom of this truck will bottom out so easily. So any of these potholes, and I'm probably gonna bottom out here, any of these potholes will really bottom this thing out. Here we go, there's one right there. Listen, you'll hear it. Oh, it didn't, it didn't grind, wow. I don't know, can I pull through there? Are we good enough for that? We're gonna we're gonna go around and just back in there It'll just be easier I was gonna try it but it'd just be easier to pull through there I mean I could park next to all these empties over here Be less of a walk. Uh, do we want to do that? Yeah, we'll do it. Whatever. I was hoping that was my old truck right there, but it's not. Oh boy. Um, we'll come down just a little bit more. We'll go between these two. I probably came the wrong way for this, honestly. Cut a hard left here. Now we need to pull up just a little bit more to the left because it's already going back towards that guy. All right, cut a hard left now. And just watch it as it goes. Shifted it over enough. Yep. All right, good. Just give it a little bit more left here. I think we're longer than this guy. I thought this truck was shorter, but we're on the curb, so. All right, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe for future content. 
and we're uploading daily i mean we got we got two more days of content right now uh this video is gonna go until uh friday at least so which that means you guys will at least have videos till through monday this is friday no through sunday guaranteed so there we go uh we'll see you guys tomorrow peace come on everything is a-okay -okay when you're riding with jay keep those wheels turning and we do this every day backing up a trailer look at all the roads i've driven come and ride with me yeah let me show you how i'm living come on